Well, this marks a major shift in White House policy and one many people say should have happened months ago. All press, all officials and executives on White House grounds are now required to wear a face mask after two White House staff members who worked closely with the President and Vice President tested positive. And we saw this order in action for the first time at today's briefing, with one exception, the President himself. In the case of me, I'm not, I'm not close to anybody. I'd like to be close to these two gentlemen. They're hard-working, great men, but they just said, uh, frankly, let's keep it this way. The president very upbeat as he announced $11 billion in funding for the states to ramp up their testing in order to reopen safely. But it is proving a very complex and confusing process in many states. Here in California, thousands of Tesla workers returned to work today. The CEO, Elon Musk, defying county orders to keep his production plant closed. He's filed a lawsuit against authority and tweeted that if anyone's arrested, it should be him. And in Texas, there's been a shooting where 600 people had gathered in a park for a party, defying stay-at-home orders, the gunman opening fire and injuring five. We'll have all of those pictures and the details in 9 News at 6.